Welcome to this uh, new tutorial for tax automation and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can automate our repetitive tasks like uh, refreshing web browser, filling, filling up some forms or performing certain predefined steps. So we'll write few Python code uh, from which you will get an idea on how you can use this concept to solve your problem or to automate your uh, repetitive tasks. And uh, here for example I will open some URL or some website in the application and then uh, click on the browser refresh icons and then uh, do this again and again so that uh, you can utilize this concept uh, to do some uh, repetitive tasks. So for uh, for doing this, we'll be using Python libraries called uh, py uh, auto GUI. So and uh, this is the GUI automation Python model uh, where we can programmatically control the mouse and our mouse and the keyboard action. And uh, for this, uh, we need we also need to note down our x and y coordinate of our, of our of our monitor or of our display. So let's begin. Uh, first, I will create one Python file, and uh, I, I can I will give this name is uh, like a screen action. Or uh, you can give your own name, whatever suitable for you. And uh, as we are going to use uh, PyAuto GUI Python, Python library, so for this uh, we'll be importing that on our project. So uh, import PyAuto.gui. This is as uh, we'll give this name as busier the short form. And uh, currently this is not supported because we haven't uh, installed we haven't installed this library in our project. So to do that, uh, go to your terminal and uh, to install that. PY Auto GUI library, you need to do is pip install. So, this will install that PY Auto GUI li library or module in your project, and then now you can use. Yeah, uh, we have successfully installed uh, this library in our project, and then uh, now the red color goes up goes away uh, now we'll also import uh, uh, time so I will uh, show you how we are using this uh, time library uh, basically mm, uh, to wait for a few seconds or to uh, apply some delay in our tax automation we can use this library and uh, now uh, first uh, we will uh, your screen display size or display uh, resolution may differ from mine by my one so that uh, our we have our own uh, screen display size so first uh, to uh, know what is our window display size or what is our screen resolution size uh, we can print uh, this pg dot size it will give the size of our uh, display so if I run this code, then uh, it will show like, yeah, so it shows my width and height. So height, uh, the, my display height is 1117 and one, the width is 1728. Uh, so my screen size is 1728 by 1117. Uh, now first I click on this and uh, to, before running this uh, code, I will apply some delay and uh, I will uh, explain why I applied that delay at, at the beginning. So time.slip command um, will uh, apply some delay uh, for the specified time in this bracket. So here I specified two seconds. So uh, while after printing this line, so it will uh, and then it will wait for two seconds and then the next line of code will be executed. Uh, now, uh, now we need to uh, navigate in the browser like a uh, I have my browser open here so first uh, I I need to click on this uh, address bar and then I, I need to type something here and then I need to click on this refresh so all these are uh, screen element have some coordinate like we can say it as a back pixel here uh, it has some X coordinate and Y coordinate so we can divide our screen into those uh, X and Y coordinate so uh, it always starts from uh, our top left corner so it indicates that our screen uh, coordinate for uh, this extreme top left corner will be zero zero so x coordinate will be zero and y coordinate will also be zero uh, and uh, we do not have uh, 
okay, we can use some uh, scale or we can use some uh, already available website or application to know our screen uh, to know the measurement so but uh, this but uh, in our um, in my macbook um, it has a uh, default um, application or default screenshot features from where i can uh, get the uh, x and y coordinate of um, of uh, for any uh, any uh, screen element like for uh, this address bar if i click on command shift and four here one cursor will display so yeah it's a uh, hard to it's a uh, the visibility is not that good but uh, yeah the current uh, it shows like uh, if i move my cursor to here it will show like uh, something like 165 to 90 so uh, if i go down there then they they uh so here it shows zero by zero and if i can go back uh to that uh, uh right corner it will show like uh it will show my full screen size like uh, i have uh, printed in my code so for this address bar it will be something like a uh, 150 by 95 or you can type anywhere like uh, if even if i type something on uh, this part here i am showing the cursor uh, it will also work so you can identify your uh, pixel size uh, from this approach or if you do not have that then uh, you can just uh, do hit and trial approach like um, you can uh, like uh, this is the whole height of this um, screen and uh, yeah it has like um, height is 117 so if you go like up to here it will be uh, 200 so you can divide your screen um, on that basis and uh, but if you do not have that actual uh, information then you can do some hidden trial and then increase or decrease height based on the way your actual cursor is being pointed uh, so first uh, i'm going to click here and then type something on this part and then i will click on this uh, refresh uh, button so first i need to find identify the coordinate like uh, I have al already measured that and that uh, pg dot um, click so click command uh, we'll click on our screen and here I have to specify the x and y coordinates so if I specify 100 and uh, like uh, 700 and 100 so it will be it will take uh, 700 as x axis so it will be something like here uh, yeah where is my browser yeah like here and uh, the 100 height indicates uh, somewhere just below this uh, uh, tab name so it should uh, point out to my address bar uh, it might differ from your screen uh, resolution so you can identify that uh, from your own approach now i have clicked on that address bar the next step is i need to type something on that address bar to type something on the address bar we can uh, use command like pg dot type right it will uh, it will control your keyboard and then uh, anything that you write under this quotation uh, will be written to your browser so uh, i'm going to write some random website like uh, www.quindex dot com slash price slash bitcoin so it will also bitcoin price yeah this is the address bar so i'm going to write uh, this uh i'm going to write uh, this url or you can write any text like a, if you need to search for the dollar rate on the google then you can uh, just uh, type your text here any text you need to type and this uh this indicates the this so uh, so this gives the information about where you need to uh, type this text so first i'm going i have uh, for i'm clicking first i am going to click on that address bar and then i'm going to write this uh, text there and uh, after clicking on this uh, text i need to uh, press enter i need to press enter in my keyboard for that uh, we can uh, we can still use our typewriter function and uh, to write to uh, type some keyword we need to uh, specify those in that uh, big bracket if we specify enter here it won't uh, type enter text there but it will uh, it will uh, apply the enter keyword or or the enter keyword will be pressed 
yeah and then after doing this uh inter i will apply some again apply some delay uh to see uh, what is happening or what's going on our screen so i have also applied the uh, two second delay so this is the basic code so for writing anything you need to use type right a uh, keyword and for uh, using some keyword like um, inter shift caps lock or tab you need to specify those uh, keyword name inside this uh, big bracket and to click on some coordinate you need to just uh, use the function as click and then write x and y coordinate of your screen on this uh, bracket so here you go now i'm going to run this code yeah so actually what happened is uh, before it uh, goes to write co um, the, my screen was uh, somewhere else so that it, it couldn't uh, type all the text uh, now you can again yeah the code this part is being written here uh, that's why i applied this uh, delay if you apply like a four second delay then you will have time to switch your screen to the desired screen that that screen should be opened or already so i have already opened this uh, chrome browser now yeah okay uh now next thing is uh, like uh, in some cases uh, we need to do this uh, tax as in a repetitive manner for for for, the, for if if it, it was just for a single time then um, it doesn't make any sense to do this uh, coding um, because we can all simply do that uh, by opening the browser and typing those keyword itself but the advantage of doing from this uh, doing uh, this from the code is that uh, you can do it uh, on multiple iteration like uh, if you have to do this uh, for 10 times or or what we can do is uh, like first we open this uh, browser and we open this site and now what we need to do is we need to refresh this page uh, in every 10 second or every 15 second uh, some yeah some website uh, does that automatically but uh, some may not so if you are if you are showing this uh, information on some display or some screen then uh, you want it to to be refreshed automatically so to do that um, you need to click on this uh, reload icon and uh, to identify the x and y coordinate for this reload icon you can uh, simply for mac you can click on the command shift 4 so it is like 84 95 or somewhere around that and if you could not find that uh, from this uh, cursor then you can do some heat and trial method first you can do 100 and 100 and then see where your mouse goes while running that code and if it goes uh, just uh, beyond that then uh, reduce the x and y coordinate so just uh, check and heat and trial for that uh, now uh, per refresh i'm going to do that uh, on uh, for n number of time like for mm, let's say uh, i'm going to refresh this for 10 times so first i have specified the 10 and if we if we are going to do some iterative tags then we can use while loop here well a is not equal to a is not equals zero so first uh, the, the value of a is 10 so it's not equal to zero so it will execute the code here now i'm going to do the same operation like pg dot click but here my coordinate will be different so it was uh, like 82 80 by 97 or whatever and the uh, x and y coordinate for that uh, refresh icon and then after doing a uh, refresh i need to i'm going to apply some delay here too like uh, wait for five seconds and then after uh, uh, five seconds i will decrease the value of a so that uh, if i if i do not uh, decrease the value of uh, a it will be an infinite loop and uh, then a the value of a will never be and zero uh, as it is uh, 10 at the initial uh, hit and then it will run code for forever yeah, so in some cases uh, you may want that uh, too uh, oh sorry it's dot not dot comma so if we if you want that page to be refreshed forever then when you, you just uh, you can just uh, ignore this line or you can comment out this line and then it will execute it uh, forever 
and uh, to see where our execution is you can also print a so that it will indicate um, so the counter value whether it is 10 9 5 10 9 8 7 6 5 so on uh, now I'm going to now I'm going to run this code again So first uh, it opens uh, the uh, site I have specified on those uh, type right and then it will uh, refresh page in every 10 seconds uh, for the next uh, in every 5 seconds uh, for 10 times and if you want to do it for forever then you can use uh, the higher value for that A or do not decrease that value. Yeah, uh, not just, uh, just for, for refreshing this page, if you need to navigate somewhere, like uh, if you need to click on the market, business, tech, or even uh, if you need to some uh, fill up some form, like uh, uh, input, uh, like in this uh, case, like we can do is, uh, now you have that uh, Facebook, and here if you need to apply the uh, email or password or click on the login icon, then what you can do is, uh, there are other approaches to for to click on those uh, elements. We can use follow the X path or other approach. But uh, the advantage of this approach is uh, you don't need to install some uh, library or it's a it's a simple approach. Like uh, for email and uh, email or phone number, you can identify its X and Y coordinate. So for me, it's like uh, yeah, it's just a thousand thirty three uh by 302 you can see if i i go from here to here then the x axis values will be increased and if i go down then the y value y coordinate will be increased so you can identify uh, those coordinate uh, too i've also used this approach uh, to delete my emails so i have to do that uh, for even page wise page and then i i use the same approach so you can apply this uh, solution for your required problem. Uh, it shouldn't be like uh, I have to do it for this refreshing this uh, website only, but uh, uh, you can apply this solution uh, for your own tags or, or it's just a concept, uh, so you can use it. And uh, now I'm going to briefly uh, explain it again. So for first, I have imported that by auto GUI library and then imported the time. Uh, so PI auto GUI is the actual library uh, which can programmatically control our mouse and keyboard like I have shown. So it controls our mouse from X uh, by using our X and Y coordinate and for uh, using keyboard, I, I use this type right command. So first I have print, um, I've printed my uh, screen size so that uh, you will know how you can um, how you can use that uh, x and y value uh, to navigate your required element and then first i click on that uh, 700 by 100 it's a uh, it's for that address bar or web page address bar or browser address bar and then i write this on those screen and then i click on the enter and then wait and to do that for n number of loop like for 10 times then i have used while loop and then I click on that if, uh, refresh uh, icon. Uh, even uh, if you if you need to do all these steps uh, ten times, then you can simply copy those part. In, uh, you can simply move those part inside the while block, or you can um, create a separate function for this uh, tax and then call from while loop. So you can modify its uh, its code. So this is all and uh, if you need any help or if you have any suggestion for this um, tutorial then feel free to leave, the, or leave your suggestion in the comment section and uh, if you need uh, support like for code or for anything then you can also use the comment section. So thank you for watching this tutorial.